Hello there, I'm Gary Sims from Android Authority. Now some of the buzzwords at the moment are machine learning, ML, and artificial intelligence, AI. And there's a whole question about the ethics of the decisions that are made by AI and ML systems. Now we don't actually have any answers at the moment, but there are certainly lots of talking points. So if you wanna find out what are the problems with ethics and AI, please let me explain. Now, of course, the whole area of ethics and morality is in itself absolutely huge. So we'll just put that to one side for the moment and let's just deal with how AI and ML deal with the area of ethics and morality. For example, in business, you can have a business that is ethical or a business that is unethical. Now, the problem is that not everything that is uh, uh, legal is ethical and not everything that is unethical is illegal. So for example, there might be strong lobby groups that lobby a government to make the laws in a certain way, or maybe a weak government doesn't actually address certain things. And therefore a business can function and that business can itself be within inside the bounds of the law. However, its activities are unethical. And certainly one thing we don't want in the future is an AI or a machine learning algorithm that is staying within the bounds of the law, but it's pushing as hard as it can to see how far it can go, but actually remain inside the law itself. In fact, when it finds a loophole, it will go through that loophole and, and expose it because that will be its principal gain to fulfill its goal. And if its goal is fulfilled through a loophole, then that's exactly what that system will do. One of my favorite examples of ethics is the idea of fairness. Now, I have three children and I've raised them together with my wife and we have tried to give them an ethical and moral standing about what is right and what is wrong. But one of the things we never needed to teach them was what is fairness. They always knew when something was not fair and they were not receiving the fair portion. Now, it was a different thing to teach them to always be fair to others. That was a whole different lesson, but they knew intrinsically when something was not fair. Now, will an AI or a machine learning system know that something is not fair? Because it might be the most efficient, it might be the most cost effective, it might be the thing that reaches the goal quickest it's been programmed with, but it's completely unfair. So how does the ML system know that? Let me give you an example. Let's say we had a, a, an ML system, a machine learning system that was controlling emergency services. So we're talking about you know, ambulances and paramedics and fire engines and maybe even you know, sort of first aid and maybe hospitals and emergency rooms. Okay, and this uh, machine learning system is there to try to optimize the use of all of those resources. Now that's a really good idea. But the problem is that if you set certain goals, then the machine learning algorithm will shortcut those goals. It will cheat to fulfill those goals. So for example, if you said that the goal of this system is to treat as many people as you can, well, if that was the case, then maybe the machine learning system would give more priority to people with ingrowing toenails or to people who've got cats stuck up a tree because very quickly the appropriate resources can be given, the problem can be solved, and then the next case can be taken. So the throughput, the number of people helped, actually goes up quite high. The guy who needed a 10 hour operation is put to one side because there are uh, 10 people who can have a 45 minute operation, is quick and cheaper, and therefore 10 people get treated rather than one. Now, of course, this has no ethical dimension to it. It's purely a numbers game. And you can also get the opposite way around. If you say, well, we'll tweak the uh, machine learning so that it doesn't do that. Well, actually then you can find that all it does is treat people that need 10 hour operations and then people that are in less risk situations never get treated because they're not gonna die. They're not in harm's way. So why should they be treated at all? So setting the goals is really, really important. And a machine learning algorithm will look at the data and look at its goals and it will find the quickest way to achieve that goal. Now, of course, medical treatment and treating people is incredibly complicated because not only are you dealing with risk, you're also dealing with a whole bunch of factors, including age and the severity of an illness. And you're looking at maybe other secondary issues that affect the primary issues like lifestyle, maybe income, diet, 
uh, you know, the kind of uh, education they've had, the, the kind of way they treat their own body. All these things come into the factors that play in how you treat people. Now, of course, a machine learning algorithm will, could make the wrong decisions that are unethical, but according to the data it's been given, it was the right answer. And one of the problems is that all ML systems are based on data. So the machine learning algorithm actually gains its experience from the data that it has been given. Now, if that data is itself biased, then it will itself create biased rules and it will follow those rules even though they are biased and we're assuming therefore incorrect. And one of the reasons the data set can be biased is because there's missing data. So you may have a whole bunch of characteristics and factors that are listing in the statistics, but actually there's something that is missing that would actually change the characteristic of the whole data set. And of course, there are a whole bunch of built-in intrinsics that we know about that actually are not expressed in data. So for example, the value of life or the value of another person. And this brings us to the next question, which is who is to blame when a machine learning system makes the wrong decision? For example, let's say you bring a friend around and you say to your smart speaker, tell me a joke, and it tells a joke that is not appropriate, it tells a joke that is offensive, who is to blame for that? Is it me as the owner of that smart speaker? Did I have uh, something, did I do something wrong to make it behave like that? Is it the producer of that? You know, is it the, the manufacturer of that particular smart speaker? Is it the programmer? Do I have to kind of take a guy called Fred to court to say, you know, why did you let your smart speaker do that? Or is it the data set, the person or the people that provide the data set? Did they provide a data set that was not uh, ethical? Because I was talking about jokes, but of course, when you multiply this up to be in different areas, education and healthcare and business practices, self-driving, automation, all these things, then these mistakes that get made can be much more costly than just someone being offended by a joke they didn't appreciate. And then of course, that leads to the flip side of the question. If uh, in the future we have machines that are you know, fully autonomous and they are making decisions based on their programming, if they commit a crime, are they guilty? Can a robot be guilty of a crime? Do robots have uh, any rights? So these are all interesting areas that are to do with morality and ethics because the bottom line is data doesn't give you ethics. Ethics is a whole separate thing that can't be gleaned from just a set of data points. I'm Gary Sim from Android Authority and I really hope you enjoyed this quick trip down this quite complicated path about ethics and morality and artificial intelligence. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the Android Authority YouTube channel. It's really good if you hit that bell icon up there so that you get a notification every time we release a new video. And last but not least, please do go to androidauthority.com because we are your source for all things 